Hey guys, welcome to Fishing Michigan. I'm your host, Noah Lubin. Today we got another unboxing. This one is from Clatterbrat, uh, home of the Death Dealer Bart Frog Lure. Um, actually, in this package, there is not a frog lure. Um, one of uh, Bart's bought us some micro finesse jigs Skip is uh, just starting to make. And uh, I just thought they were really cool, and I could not get them out of my head, so I needed to pick up a few and try them out. Uh, so that's what this unboxing is, uh, but you can't have a Clatterbrad unboxing without an appearance of Death Dealer Bart. So I'm going to show you something I upgraded to, and uh, that involves Bart. So uh, with that, guys, let's get right into the package. Uh, right on the top here is the Wounded Warriors chip clip. Um, just uh, skip, or as many of you know him, Blood Not 101. Uh, if you don't know him, uh, go check out his channel and uh, website. I'll put the link in the description below. But uh, he purchased these uh, with proceeds or uh, money from uh, Bart Sales. And so he's just saying uh, that uh, we made a donation to Wounded Warriors. So uh, that's that. Then you get your business card. So there it is, Clyde Brat. Uh, and a uh, little handwritten note on the back that you get. And uh, in the box up video, maybe some of you have uh, already seen the box up video. Uh, he says he's he threw these in for free. So uh, right now I want to thank you, Skip, for throwing these in. Uh, these are really sweet. Uh, I'll be mainly throwing these on the back of other jigs. But uh, they're, they're all... I like them because they're all slightly different coloration. Like uh, for this one, at least, uh, it's orange, and then there's like a just like a watermelon. And for this one, like all just different. It's just really cool, and uh, I'm excited to match those up with some jigs. So uh, there's those. So I want to thank you again, Skip, for these. Uh, and now we get into the micro finesse jigs. Uh, these are for Colt cold the cool water situations uh, early spring late fall um, these can catch all, mainly all species of fish they're meant for bass but uh, can catch a crappie too uh, and Rushmore Lake many of you know uh, if you follow our channel have seen us fish there a few times and we've really picked up some nice fish especially some big slab crappie uh, Noah caught a master angler size crappie uh, in one of our early uh, spring uh, fishing sessions uh, you can check out that video on our channel and uh, recently we just went there ice fishing and picked up a lot of perch and uh, bluegill and even some small bass so it was really enjoyable you may also go check that video out. I believe it was put up today uh, but so that's that uh, so let's let me stop getting off topic I guess and uh, show you these jigs so they're all in eight downs these are the ball head designs. Uh, this one has got the white with red eye, and this one's red with white eye. And it's a clear with blue flash. Uh, really nice looking uh, jigs. Well done, Skip. Uh, like I, I was kind of talking to Skip, and I thought maybe I'd do this as a project, but I think I'm going to pass for now uh, just because, um, I mean... It's I just don't have a ton of money to go throw around at that kind of stuff. So uh, when I need them, I mean, this number, just eight of them will hold me over for a while. So I'll probably, if Skip will let me, uh, just continue to purchase from him. So I think I'm just going to, I'm going to keep an open mind to the idea, but uh, I don't think that will be happening. Uh, here are uh, two more. They're in a, like a pearl skirt, but in this pearl skirt, there's a hint of blue in there. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, but uh, eight ounce like they all are, red with white eye, white with red eye. Uh, this is uh, a football head design, and this is uh, like a brown craw, natural card craw, dark craw, whatever you want to say. Uh, it's a very nice looking natural color. And this is uh, another football head in black widow. So it's got that uh, red and black uh, bands. Don't know if the camera picks up on that well. 
then I got uh, two more ball heads, and uh, this one is in the camel muck skirt. This is a really cool look. I really like it. Uh, this is the black head, yellow eye, and uh, black head, yellow eye on this one too. And uh, this is like a chartreuse in green, so a little bit brighter color for stained water. Um, and this one, he left the skirt uh, finesse, like overhang, I guess you'd call it, a little bit longer so I can kind of choose uh, how far I want to cut them down. And he also said that I could throw some shutters on the back of them, but either it's just, one, and I normally just fish these 8 ounce heads with a little uh, tail on them. So uh, I think the skirt will make up for not having that. Uh, but maybe I'll be throwing some tails to experiment a little bit, just have a little fun with it. So uh, that's my uh, unboxing portion of the video. I want to thank you, Skip, for uh, working with me and making these and uh, setting a price and everything. I really appreciate that, and I appreciate you throwing in the grub tails. So like I said before, guys, Skip, or as many of you know him, Blood Not 101, check out his channel and website in the description below. Uh, like I said, I was going to include Bart in this video, so I got to. Uh, I upgraded my saw, my uh, Topwater Frogs case uh, to a Flambeau uh, Z-Rust case. Open this up to try and minimize glare. Uh, so my thought process behind uh, going for a little extra money to get this Z-Rust container is uh, sometimes just these hollow bodies. This is a uh, Spro Jr. for those of you if you're wondering. Uh, when these, uh, when I fish these, I still gotta cut the screw down. But uh, when I fish these, uh, sometimes a little bit of moisture gets in the body, and you squirt it out and everything. But there's still that little like slight moisture, and that can rust hooks. Uh, I know they d use premium hooks for this kind of uh, deal, but um, still, I had a little trouble last season with a few frogs that got rusted hooks. Uh, these aren't all my frogs. I only have like four just hollow bodies and four barts but uh there's gonna be more frogs in here before next season i can guarantee you that and uh there'll be two more barts and i've reserved spots so this is what i was talking about bart another reason i upgraded and that's this is more the main reason is these bart canisters i like to keep my barts in those so i wanted a case that could fit those in there and this does the job great uh so like and these two spots here like i was saying they are reserved for baby bart so uh, Baby Bar is going to be uh, in addition to my tackle box soon. Uh, Skip's working on that, working on a lot of prototypes and uh, whatnot of that. So guys, uh, thanks for watching this little unboxing with Fishing Michigan. Uh, until next time, guys. See ya.